can newspapers yeah. capture revenue? Uh, it's going to be hard because, you know, you look at the New York Post, it's losing $110 million a year. I mean, I think there's value with something with the Wall Street Journal. I think there's an inherent audience. I think there's a digital extension to that. I think what's interesting is what he says, what he wants with the New York Post is make it another BuzzFeed. You know, something like okay. that. Or but, Michael, I mean, I don't mean to interrupt, Brad, but, folks, here's the New York Post this morning. Dreaded Yankees on the back cover. Michael, this is not BuzzFeed, is it? Uh, the idea that Rupert is going to create a buzz, buzz, another BuzzFeed, that he even knows what BuzzFeed is. <laughs> um, uh, Rupert is always doing this. There was a time when, when page six, he was going to turn that into Gawker, I think. Um, yeah. it, there, there's not a chance. As a matter of fact, let's go for it. The real issue is, will Rupert close the New York Post? And I say, actually, there's no alternative. He has to. The New York Post is history. Because, well, Scarlett, jump in here, but Brad, this is a $110 million black hole yeah. in a publicly traded discrete company. Now. Yeah. Well, you know, if, if publishing, you said last year with the spinoff, the publishing branch would have lost $2 billion last year, and that per wipes out all, all the money, the debt free money that the company has right. to want. So you got to wonder how much longer he's going to be able to, to sustain this. And, and If he's really going to run this company, the thing that he has to do, the first thing, the imperative, <coughs> is he has to bring costs into line. And that means the New York Post, it means the, ti the, the Times and the Sunday Times in London mm -hmm. are goners. Mm -hmm. Goners, goners, goners. He's got to get rid of them. I mean, together, that's almost uh, 250 million bucks a year down the, wow. uh, yeah. down the hole. Well, let's put this together with the headlines we got this morning about the Tribune company splitting up its broadcasting business and its publishing assets. There was discussion that perhaps Rupert Murdoch might be interested in buying the LA Times. Brad, does it look likely that he's going to do that with the split? Yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't think so. First of all, he's got to get through, you know, he owns two stations in Los Angeles. And so, you know, he's going to have to get a waiver from the FCC. Regular or then you have to change. Or, yeah, I mean, you can't own two newspapers or, or two TV stations and newspaper in the same market. I mean, he does in New York. He has a waiver. He can't, you know, he's going to have to get that. There's some issues with the FCC. There could be some changes in cross-ownership rule, but that takes time. Can I, can I jump in here? Because Please. I have a bit of uh, news, something I've written about. And there's, there's something unseen here. They get a lot of money. From, from, from Fox in the division, mm -hmm. I think $2.4 um, billion. Dollars. But certainly what I'm hearing is that there will be a Foreign Corrupt Practices Act uh, settlement with the company, and part of that money, a key part of that money, as much as a billion dollars, is going to go for that settlement. 